So I'm John Jackson, Systems Integration Manager, Mining Solutions for IMDEX. IMDEX provides solutions for the exploration and mining sectors, uh, focusing on subsurface intelligence. UFR has brought their skills of um, obviously automating uh, existing equipment, which is attractive because the 1.7 tonne excavator that you see behind me is commonly available around the world. Because it is mass produced, the cost, the capital cost is low, the operating cost is low, and because it is autonomous, we'll be able to have a number of these on the bench if needed. So we can deploy them and scale them. The plan is have the machine drive up to a hole, position itself over the top of the hole, using GPS and um, advanced visioning systems. And then we'll lower our sensor, the IMDEX sensor, down the hole, which will measure some of the physical properties of the rock. We're logging blast holes, geophysically logging blast holes, to characterise the material within the blast, which will then optimise uh, the modelling of the geology and the blasting outcomes. One of the, the main reasons for going down the robotic uh, route was to remove people from the bench from a safety point of view. Traditionally, there's usually an operator and the blast hole cones need to be removed, particularly in coal. That comes with its own risks. There's people operating in and around the bench. Um, so this was a way of removing people off the bench and being able to increase the productivity and efficiency of logging to be able to log every hole, every time. It's been very exciting to work with uh, UFR on this project and particularly around the speed that we've gone from concept to the first prototype being field tested inside six months. And I think it's uh, a great boon for Queensland's robotics industry going forward. And it shows the value of where discussions and collaboration can lead to.